what up youtube family back at you again with another one so this video is going to be about apple cider vinegar don't mind the detox right in the front this was the one that i saw at walmart they didn't have the other one but it still works just as good um the reason why i'm talking to you about apple cider vinegar is because it's something that that i've had in my hair regimen for a while now um not too long i recently incorporated it back into my regimen um and basically i use it in a way in which people would use co-wash so i sort of interchange the both of them like sometimes i would co-wash sometimes i'll use my apple cider vinegar it all depends on how i feel for the moment and how my hair is in the moment um but apple cider vinegar it is pretty good i know some of you may be like girl you tripping why you putting vinegar in your hair but trust me when i tell you it's okay it's not gonna harm your hair or anything like that at the very least it's just going to improve what you got going on in this area right here um one of the good benefits of apple cider vinegar is that you know it it gets rid of like itchy scalp and stuff like that so if you see that your scalp is itchier than normal then apple cider vinegar is a very good way to get rid of that it also helps cleanse your scalp you know get rid of the inflammation that you may have get rid of the dirt that might be in there you know all those yucky stuff that we don't need up in our hair up this bad boy right here definitely gets rid of it so i'm just gonna show you how I, you know, do my, what's it called? My weekly apple cider vinegar rinse, you know? So stick around, sit down and enjoy. For my mixture, I add one tablespoon of honey and I put it in hot water to dissolve it. I do this because honey acts as a humectant which absorbs moisture from the air into my hair so you want to have your apple cider vinegar with the mother the mother is the little cloudy substance that usually happens to be at the bottom of the jar and you want to shake it up to mix it around in your apple cider vinegar here i'm showing you just how much i'm pouring into my container and next, I'm taking the water with the dissolved honey into it and I'm adding that to the apple cider vinegar that I have right there. So I try to fill it up as much as possible with that water and now I'm adding ice cubes because we want the water to be really cold because this aids in closing the cuticles of the hair. What I'm going to do after this step is just put it in the fridge for like 5-10 minutes and that's it. Here I've saturated my hair with water. I went in the shower and turned it on and I just drenched my hair with hot water. And I had my hair in twists from a previous wash day and I'm just pouring the apple cider vinegar in between the, pat the sections of my hair. I unravel the twist and I try to get apple cider vinegar on my hair itself as well. So some more benefits of apple cider vinegar is that it really helps balance the pH of your hair and scalp. It also helps to clarify your hair. So if you have any um, product buildup or anything like that on your hair or on your scalp, it really helps to get rid of it. 
it's also a very good detangler it adds shine and it reduces the frizz in your hair I'm just showing you the part of my finger that I'm using not the nails but the flat section of your finger I know I'm looking a bit crazy but this is my hair after I put in the apple cider vinegar um what I'm this is how much I have left what I'm going to do next is just open the rest of this and I'm going to just put it all over my hair um I'm doing this like in between washes so I'm gonna wash my hair next week but I just did this to you know clean up my scalp and stuff like that but however if you're going to use it like in accordance with your wash regimen what I advise you to do is to use it after you shampoo condition and deep condition the reason why I say that is because the purpose well, one of the purpose of the apple cider vinegar is to help close your cuticle. So you don't want to like do all of that or not do all of that and then use the apple cider vinegar and have your 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 cuticles in your hair closed and then it'll be really hard for moisture to come back in. We don't want that to happen. What we want is for the moisture to be inside of our hair and then to close the cuticle so that our hair will hold on to that moisture a lot longer um yeah just a quick tip for you guys so gonna rinse this all over my hair and then cover it with a shower cap after this step i'm going to leave the shower cap on for 15 minutes and then rinse my hair out Okay, this is my final results from the ACV wash. All I did was rinse my hair out with cold water. Not too cold, but cold enough to stand. Um, and my scalp is pretty clean and my hair no longer feels like mushy anymore. It feels pretty good. Pretty clean, not as clean as, you know, shampooing would get you, but it's okay to go another week for now. So, so what I do after this process is I just go straight to, um, putting in my leave-in conditioner and then I just twist my hair back up or braid it. Whatever I feel like doing for the moment. Girl, you are walking trophy. You are walking trophy. My girl, you are walking trophy.